Hello, this is Simon from Kensington SEO with another quick audit for a local business in the Northamptonshire area. Now the purpose of these audits is to provide some advice and uh, insights to website owners so that they can um, get more traffic from Google and when the traffic hits the site that they visitors more likely to convert into leads and sales. So with that being said, there are three questions that I usually ask myself when looking at a new site. And that is, what is it? What's it about? And what's in it for me? And with that being said, looking at this site here, this is the area that I can see above the fold, which is the fold is this bit without having to scroll down and to be honest I'm not entirely sure what this site is about I've got HR uh, I've got some navigation items here but it doesn't hit me exactly what this site is and what it can do for me um, and I think that's important because I've got a box here that I should fill in who are here to help but I'm not entirely sure at this stage what it is you can help me with. I've got a huge great video here above the fold, um, but I've got no real compelling uh, reason to click this video. Um, the chap in the video doesn't look particularly happy, um, and that may well be a part of the, the video. It's designed to be like that, but it would be helpful perhaps if there was a thumbnail overlay which explain what I would get out of watching this video. And that may well help get more click-throughs. And then here we've got a little bit of introduction into the company. Quite possibly this would be better above the video because then I'd have a headline um, if I expanded this headline to include a little bit more about what it is that the company does. And then I would have some text, maybe some bullet points. And if they were above the video, then it would serve as a really good introduction so that immediately I knew that this site was able to answer the questions that landed me here in the first place. We've got a, uh, a call to action here where I can uh, click to download and um, I've got to go through a shopping cart, albeit free. So it might be that I have to register um, and go through and that, that may well be at this stage a bit too much for somebody who's just first hit the site. Um, and then here we've got a big slider taking up a huge section uh, and the, it's clickable but unfortunately the clicks don't actually go anywhere other than the uh, WordPress image page. So that should be fixed um, and probably find that um, the slider isn't particularly helpful um, in terms of providing any value. And then we've got a whole bunch of links down here. And uh, again, it might be that there are too many links here. Um, so it would be interesting to see if we could kind of um, just change this up a little bit so there aren't so many choices so people don't suffer from uh, choice paralysis. Um, here, email, enter your email for updates, sign up. Um, there's no value proposition here, so I don't know what I'm getting for my updates giving you my email address. People are very wary these days about giving their email address or they give you an email address that they didn't actually use a disposable one. So you end up filling up your autoresponder software with loads of email addresses um, where the open rates um, aren't very good and that then affects the de deliverability of your uh, your emails so um, that might be worth looking at and then here we've got a huge great footer um, nice that we've got some social media updates or tweets and that um, they're actually fairly relevant uh, and recent which is nice sometimes you look at these and see they're sort of three years old so it's good that um, this social account is being updated so that's my views on the on the home page. Let's uh, just go and look at some important uh, SEO type things. Now page speed is vital. 
for good rankings in Google, particularly now as we are looking at um, how important mobile is. So this site uh, doesn't rank very well, and this is Google's own tool. So there's some things here that can be fixed to help make the site um, work better on a mobile device, but even on the desktop, um, it doesn't rank particularly well in terms of, of speed. So that needs to be looked at. There's something called structured data, which is a way of um, putting some code on your website, which will give it a, um, a heads up to Google exactly what the site's about. And um, for a business like this, you'd probably want to look at either local business markup or um, professional services markup. And I can see here that we haven't got any of that. Um, so you're not benefiting from what is a fairly easy fix, which would really help Google understand what the site is about. Good thing I like about this site is that there are lots of words on the page and we can see here um, the sorts of words that are uh, on the page. So this is helping Google understand a bit more about the, the page itself. So having lots of content on the page is very, very good. We can see here um, these are the uh, word densities of um, of the page so we can see your when you're looking here you want to see how many times your keywords appear within the content of the page and if you've got something that's got a density of sort of three four five six percent then really you might like to look at that and see how you can reduce um, the number of times that the phrase appears in the content otherwise Google might penalize you for over optimizing your site here we've got, um, this is the Facebook tool which shows what, a, what this site looks like when this URL is shared on Facebook. And we can see here that we've got an error um, here, so we might like to fix that. That's probably one of the plugins on the site isn't being set up properly with a, a Facebook app. Um, but essentially this is what will get shared. So. This might be appropriate, this might be the image that the business owner wants, but um, it's not a particularly compelling call to action here to support your business. Well, that could be supporting it in refuge collection um, or payroll or any number of things. So it might be more appropriate to make this call to action more relevant to what it is the business is trying to attract. Um, <clears throat> looking here, this is all the pages that Google has got indexed in its uh, in, in the, in the uh, search engine and one of the things I'm looking for are these sorts of pages um, and we saw this earlier with the sliders and again here with the logo uh, what's happening here is that these pages are actually being indexed in Google um, and what that means is that you are getting lots and lots here we go this is a logo page um, <clears throat> and these pages have got virtually no content on them and Google frowns upon this. So it's quite an easy fix in your um, WordPress uh, backend to be able to fix these and so that these aren't being indexed in Google. It will make your site um, much more Google friendly. So that's something that you can do there as well. Very quickly, this is the techie bit of the, uh, of the audit. And we can see here, um, these are all the pages uh, on the site. Um, there's a page not found here, 404 error, that needs to be fixed. Um, 200s are okay, that's, that's what a normal page would be. We've got two more 404 errors here. There's a 302, a temporary move, that needs to be fixed. Some more 404 errors, so if we, um, look at response codes um, oops uh, we can see we've got all of these 301s which are redirects so uh, they're probably okay um, all of these pages are pages not found so they need to be fixed because they will be damaging the site in Google's eyes page title every uh, page needs to have a unique title um, here we can see that we've got three pages where the titles are too long, so they would need to be 
um, fixed and these are all duplicate page titles every page should have a unique page title meta description uh, missing we've got loads of pages that have got no um, meta description meta description is a little bit of the snippet that you see underneath the web uh, page on um, a Google search results um, so effectively this is your opportunity to put uh, your own free ad here this meta description not only tells Google what the page is, is about um, but it, more importantly it tells a visitor who's just put a search into Google what the page is about and the more compelling you can make this the more likely you are to get a click through the more click throughs that your page gets for that search query the higher that Google will rank it for that search query so it's a win-win situation there um, we've got um, missing tag uh, uh, sorry carrot over 156 so this is any descriptions that are too long but seeing as most of the pages uh, don't have uh, meta descriptions then that's not really an issue duplicate again because we haven't got many we're not likely to get any um, duplicates meta keywords this is good there aren't any meta keywords that's something that uh, has been dropped so it's uh, it's good that there aren't any in there h1s this is the heading one tag on all of the pages now we have got missing all of these pages are missing h1 tags now looking at this most of these are tag pages um, author pages and some category pages so these are all the pages that are in Google that shouldn't be being indexed and we can turn that off in the back end of Google I'm uh, sorry in the back end of your WordPress site with something like Yoast SEO so they need to be uh, de-indexed um, over 70 characters this is an h1 tag here that's a little bit too long h2 tags so there's no pages that are missing an h2 tag that's good but we've got lots of duplicates h2 tags are an opportunity to put some keywords in there that Google will uh, be able to understand more about the pages about images uh, missing alt text so we've got some images here that don't have any alt text alt text is a way of uh, describing what the image is to Google so that it can see the picture because obviously it can't see a picture um, we've got some images here that are particularly large uh, again large images will slow the site down so in a nutshell that is some of the issues that um, are, are about uh, happening on this site and um, that would then fixing those issues would really help to make the site um, rank higher and um, changing around some of these things may well help with the conversions when somebody does land on the site so I hope this has been useful and uh, if you're looking to find some more information about how we can help you or how you can help yourself then feel free to make an appointment um, from our website at kensingtonlinkbuilding.com and be more than happy to help you either help yourself or help you directly. Many thanks. Bye now.